Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Net817. I know I've been gone for a little while, but I am back with a haul. It's actually a birthday haul and some things that I picked up along the way. So if you're interested in seeing what I got, please stay tuned. The first two items I got are from the beauty supply store. I picked up the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Mahogany. And this is what that looks like. It's one of the deeper shades that they recently released. And I like this to do some contouring with. I found the one that I had before. I can't remember the name, but it just wasn't deep enough to really see a difference in my skin. So I got this one and I've been liking that. And then I also picked up this lipstick by Absolute. It's called Matte Stick. And this is what that looks like. And it's in the shade Boysenberry. Boysenberry. I can't remember. <laughs> but it's just this really pretty, um, I don't know, plummy kind of berry shade, purple. I don't know. <laughs> and this is it swatched on my hand. Really pretty. These are only $2.99 or they were $2.99 at my beauty supply store. The texture is great. They're matte. They're not too matte. They're comfortable on the lips. They don't dry your lips out. Um, they're just really nice. So I want to get some more of these because they're really good. Another item I picked up is from the drugstore and I was kind of skeptical to get this but I went ahead and grabbed it anyway. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 16 Hour Powder. And this is what that looks like, and yeah, I already broke mine. <laughs> and this is in the shade Classic Tan 700, if you can see that at the bottom. I don't know, I was just kind of scared. I always thought it was going to be too dark, so I just looked at a couple of videos and decided to go ahead and, and grab it. And I actually do like this powder. Um, it's really nice. I do like that. The next item I actually purchased from Overstock.com, and that's a website that I don't really frequent too much, but I googled the perfume, I found a great deal, so I went ahead and got it from there. And this is the Jessica Simpson Fancy Love, I hope you all can see that. I have been in love with this scent for years, years, and years. <laughs> I just always go back to it, it's just the perfect balance of feminine, sweet, just, ugh, I just love it. So I found a really great steal on this and decided to pick it up. So this is what you get inside the box minus one item, which I will tell you about. But you get a 3.4 ounce all day perfume. You get the shower gel, the lotion, and also a body mist. And then up here was also a perfume spray that I just went ahead and put in my purse. But I love it. I think this was under $40. Some items that I needed to back to MAC. And I already knew what I wanted to get, which was Ruby Woo. And this is what it looks like. Um, I have Riri Woo, so I kept talking myself out of getting this one. But they're just not the same, in my opinion. So I got this. It's a beautiful red. I do have a picture of me wearing it on my Instagram, at Nate817, if you guys want to check it out. And here is a swatch of it right there. It's just a beautiful blue base red. It looks great on all skin tones. And I am so glad that I finally have this in my collection. Another shade that I wanted to get um, sometime last fall, I believe, is when I first saw the color and wanted to get it. It was out of stock, so I got something else. And it is the color Sin. This is what that looks like. And it's just a really pretty wine kind of deep burgundy color, I guess. And this is it swatched right here. When I couldn't find that one last year, I got a different color, and this one is in Lingering Kiss. And I don't remember if this was limited edition or not. It might have been. But this one is just, it's kind of the same, but it's a bit deeper. And this is what that one looks like. And let me swatch this so you can see it side by side. So Lingering Kiss is the one on top, and the finish on that one is a little bit more creamy, even though it is a matte. I had a few blushes on my list as well. So one of them was Raisin, and this is what that shade looks like. I don't know why I've never had this, but it's such a really pretty color, and I'm glad I did pick it up. I've been wearing it. I have it on today, but you probably can't tell. But that's the swatch right there on the side. It's like a reddish brown kind of color. It's just really, really pretty, and it'll work really nice in the fall and winter months. And another one that was on my list was Burnt Pepper, and this is what that looks like. And they didn't have this in the Pro Pan, and this was the last one they had in stock, so I grabbed it. <laughs> and this is swatched right on top. And the final item that I picked up from MAC is the Pro Long Wear Powder. This is what the package looks like, and I got it in the shade Dark. Um, I didn't even know that this was out. I, I don't know where I've been. I really haven't been on the MAC train lately, so <laughs> when I went in there, I was just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. But I did pick this up, and this is supposed to be like a long-wearing powder. It's supposed to be great for oil control. I picked up a foundation from the Cover Effects website, and it's their Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation. This is what the box looks like, and I got mine in the shade N90, and this is the packaging. But this color just really doesn't suit my skin tone. For it to be a neutral shade, it does run rather pink. So this is not something that I'm going to be hanging on to. The next items I got are from Sephora. Yay! <laughs> so since it was my birthday month, I went ahead and got my gift, which was from NARS. And it is the Lip Pencil Duo. 
So I grabbed those. I also cashed in some of my points, which I never do. I just kind of let them accumulate. But I decided to try this Bosha skincare set. I just wanted to see if I would like the brand or not. And I figured that was a great way to try it. So I got those two items. The next thing I've had on my list forever and ever and ever, I finally got it. And it's the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And this is the little trial size with the puff. And I'm going to tell you, this powder is life in a jar. I've been using it every day this week to set my under eye concealer. And it is just amazing. It is all that, like everyone has said. And I know that once this runs out, I'll be getting the full size. So I've been using this nonstop. The next product I have here is by the Sephora line. And it is the Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. And this is what it looks like. And I got the shade number 15 Dolce de Leche. And this shade is very orange so I don't really use it as a concealer I use it more as a corrector and I'm debating if I'm going to get another one of these or not I'm not sure I might just go back to my NARS concealer but I wanted to give it a shot and this is that shade right there Dolce de Leche so I just use this on my dark circles I use it on like any acne spots I have on my face and it does okay with that but I don't think that it has enough coverage for me but I wanted to try it out so I got that and I also picked up a foundation. This is also by Laura Mercier. It wasn't on my list, but I kind of swatched it, and I think I like it. This is the Smooth Finish Flawless Fluid, and this is what the box looks like. And I got mine in the shade Nutmeg, if you can see that. And let me take it out of the pack so you can see what it looks like. This is the packaging on that, and it's a really nice foundation. Um very liquidy very fluid I've only used it maybe twice so I don't really know what I think about it but I like how it feels on my skin I like how it looks on my skin I don't have it on today but I wanted to give it a try that is it from Sephora from Ulta I picked up two of the NYX micro brow pencil and this is what it looks like and the shade that I usually use espresso was out at like every store I went to so I grabbed the shade brunette and this is what the box looks like. This is the one that's not open. I have the other one in the bathroom. And that's what I've been using on my brows. I still prefer the other shade, Espresso. But I just wanted to grab them while they were on sale. So I got two of those. And the final items I have here are from eBay. It's a brush set that I have been looking at for a very long time. I've seen plenty of reviews and heard nothing but great things about them. And this is from the brand Jessup. And it's their 15-piece brush set. This is what the brushes look like. They have different colors to choose from. I actually just wanted the classic black handle with the silver top, but they didn't have that one. So I got this one and actually found a USA seller. So I got them very, very fast. Um, and this is one of the brushes right here. I've heard great things about them. And here are the rest. I just got them yesterday, so I don't know how they'll work, but so far they feel really, really soft and the quality seems great on them. So I will be washing them over the weekend and using them next week and I will be reporting back to let you guys know how I like them. That is going to do it for my birthday haul. I hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, if you have any questions or comments about any of the products I've shown, feel free to leave them below. Also, follow me on Instagram at nae 17 and also on Snapchat at nae 17 I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you very soon.